so the gray water is coming out of the house right here and there's a valve inside in the basement that can turn it on or off and the reason we the reason I did that was because in the winter time obviously the reeds aren't going to function in filtering the gray water so we'll run uh, we'll bury uh, PVC right down here we'll 45 it uh, we've got enough fall here to kind of come around and then there's about a hundred square foot wetland area tucked in this little corner here so we'll dig this it'll be about two feet deep and we'll fill it with gravel and we'll plant uh, reeds so uh, the gravel because you don't really want the water exposed here so the gravel will help to uh, prevent mosquitoes from breeding constantly now the good thing is we will have a relatively constant flow of water coming here because every time we use the shower or the sinks or the or the washer so this last pond here is a silt pond about 160 square feet and we're going to plumb the, the wetland area to the silt pond and then the silt pond is going to collect all the silt before it gets into the feature dam and the reason I wanted to do that was because it's going to be much easier to clean out the silt pond than it would be to clean out the feature dam. Once we get the fish in, I don't really want to disturb all that wildlife. So we so ran into a couple of issues today, as usual, in these complicated jobs. I forgot that I ran conduit here to, down to the pond for my aerator, and this was where I really wanted to put the silt pond. So not particularly easy to run because this is not low voltage lighting that we could just splice and um, you know and, and run a wire around so I'd either have to get an electrician out here to run run all the way around and we'd have to and we'd have to have a either add a junction box or completely redo the the job completely from from the original junction or the other option is to move the silt pond. So the least expense and easiest thing to do is going to be to move the silt pond. So basically my plan is to just move the silt pond over here and um, what, what I'm going to do is continue shoveling out all this gravel, fill in the trench with uh, soil so that way we'll block, block this here and then we'll connect the drain pipe to the um, to the silt pond. So everything will go into the silt pond, and then the silt pond will overflow into the main pond. We were able to get so, most of the wetland area dug out today. This PVC pipe here that connects to the house is what where all the gray water comes from. So the gray water comes here. Uh, we 90 it at the at the end so that will actually go over the wall and spill in. Now one thing we did wrong here, the depth on the wetland area should be 12 to 24 inches deep. I was thinking we would go 24 inches. I wanted it to be a little bit more on the deeper side just so that way uh, the reeds can, can really use the depth of their uh, root system. We can get more volume of water uh, in here as well. So the, it, the only issue with that is is we ended up, um, this, area, this area of ground was not completely level. There's about an eight inch difference between the, the high and the low. So what we, what we thought would work would we just level the bottom and then we'd fill in the extra gravel to make the difference. The problem is, is that means that in that corner we have 24 inches of gravel, which is fine, but then this other side we end up with 32 inches of gravel, so that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, so first of all, we're going to be using a lot of gravel, and then obviously we went to all the work to, to do all this digging. So I think what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to take some of the soil and fill it back in, so that way we have 18 inches at its lowest and 24 inches at, it, at its deepest. So that will be a little bit more in the range of, of what we're looking for. This is the end of day two of the wetland project and we've got the gray water coming out of the house right there where the where the tea and part of the half of the tea is actually the sump pump so that connects to it too as well. The PVC that's connected to the gray water we've got that trenched and running downhill so we've got enough fall to gravity feed the wetland area and it's going to come in right here. Now we'll have to cut in through the liner and then uh, use silicon caulk to uh, seal it up, but this is where it's going to come in to the wetland. The floor of the wetland here is completely level. This has all been leveled out and it's important that your uh, the bottom of your wetland area is level. You don't want uh, all the gray water that's coming in from the house just sloshing to one side or the other. You want it to be relatively even so uh, the plants can, can filter it adequately. 
uh, we're about 18 inches or so deep uh, at this at the at the at this one corner we're probably about 18 inches deep and at this corner we're about 24 inches deep now having said that the 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 floor is completely level we're just going to end up with a little bit more gravel in this one corner than the other but the water level is obviously going to be level and um, you're not going to see the water level anyway because it's going to all going to be completely covered uh, with gravel so if you've got a slight difference in the grade you can you can fix that without having to berm up the walls to make it perfectly level if you want to do it that way um, but if you've got a, a real a, more of a steep slope then you probably have to berm up and actually make walls to uh, to make it level so the gray water is going to exit. We're going to have a, a level sill spillway right here coming right off the wetland area and that's going to connect with an existing uh, drainage pipe that we've got over here. So we'll connect those all, all together and then we're probably going to use some pond liner here at the bottom just to make sure that we're not losing anything or things are trying to go underneath. And then, and then we'll run all that water into a, a silt pond or a sediment pond that's going to be much bigger than that hole now. We just dug that just to get through the weekend just in case we got a storm over the weekend. We wouldn't uh, have to worry about um, a lot of silt running into the main feature pond. So once we get the silt pond done, we'll have an overflow from the silt pond into the main uh, feature fish pond. So we're just about ready to add the gravel. We're going to do about six inches of one to one and a half inch round river rock followed by about 18, maybe 15 to 18 inches of uh, pea gravel. So the six inches of, of one to one and a half inch will be at the bottom, and then the pea gravel uh, will be on top. And as you can see, we've got where the inlet comes in, we've got a slot of PVC, so uh, it'll distribute evenly. So we got the wetland area filled in today. Uh, on top, this is uh, pea gravel. Underneath there's about six inches of one to one and a half inch uh, river rock and then the pea gravel is on top. There's about 12 inches of, of pea gravel. Now you can see the liner is still on the edges so I'm going to come through. I haven't decided whether I'm going to trim it and then uh, add some compost around the edges so you won't be able to see it or I'm going to fold it back. I haven't decided that yet so I'm still, still thinking about how I'm going to disguise the or how I'm going to conceal the edge. Uh, one other thing I did was I also added a stand-up pipe here um, and all it is is just a, a piece of conduit and I'll probably cut that but basically I wanted to have something to where I, I could get down to the bottom of the pond and siphon the water out if I needed to. So if I wanted to have a situation where I wanted the root system of the plants to go deeper I might come in here and siphon the get the water level lower so that way the roots have to go down deep to get uh, the water. So that just makes it easy so I don't have to dig dig up the uh, the gravel to get down uh, to, to put some to put a garden hose down to uh, to siphon out the uh, the water. So we're a little further along. I still have to put in I'm planning to put in a to line that trench here for my drain pipe with pond liner and then I was going to fill it up with uh, river rock. So the connection to the wetland area takes place here and it's also connected to a drain pipe that uh, collects quite a bit of water from around the back of the house. So we'll have a little junction there and then that connects right over to here to the silt pond. So the silt pond we still have to build up the wall a little bit. I um, We've been compacting it and sort of building it up slowly. So the silt is pond is full. It's spilling fine. You can see right down the, the back there, there's a, a spillway. That pipe that's there, we're going to cover up with some rocks. You won't be able to see it, but that's the pipe that comes in from the drainage and also comes in from the wetland area.